The strong point entity relationship diagram or the ERD is one of our most popular tools. It's a great way to get a visual representation of your customizations and their dependencies. So a couple key use cases would be uh, planning for change or investigating a potential change that somebody has requested um, or troubleshooting. So I'll just quickly walk you through those two use cases um, give you an idea of how this can be used. So what I'll do is go through this list here and just select um, our customer record, for example. Um, and so once I hit show ERD, um, what's going to populate over here on the left hand side is a quick list of everything that sits on this particular record. Um, so let's say if somebody asked for a change to the company size field, um, I can see here that this is a list record. It was last used on May 19th of 2018. Uh, and I can see downstream here any dependencies that exist. So this is a pretty simple picture. Uh, I'm only seeing a couple searches. And if I was to dig into these a little bit, I can get a better sense of, well, are they being used? And would a change to the company size field potentially impact somebody's business processes? So I can quickly open up a record right here. Uh, this is a, a customization record that StrongPoint has created. I can see a high level overview of the configuration of this particular search. So I can see that there's no formulas. I can see the filters and the fields. Scrolling down a bit further, I can also see usage information, such as the date last used, which in this case is June of 2017. And I can see the subsidiaries, subsidiaries are the employees that are using the particular customization. So a quick glance looks like this is a pretty straightforward one. Um, I can probably make this change quickly and easily, and it only took me a few seconds to really determine that. Uh, the second use case that we commonly see people using the ERD for is troubleshooting. So let's say, for example, uh, your CFO comes walking into your office um, and lets you know that the workflow that is used to put customers on credit hold uh, is broken. Uh, so, you know, you need to get on this as soon as you can. Well, with StrongPoint, you can see that the, the checkbox on the customer record for that is connected to a workflow, which is then connected downstream to a couple scripts and a search. Um, so, you know, there's a very high likelihood that maybe something changed in here that ended up breaking it. And so I can open up the record here. I'm now going to see a, um, an overview of a workflow instead of a search like I did the first time. Um, I can also see a change log. So StrongPoint is automatically capturing a time stamped, date stamped change log for every configuration change that happens inside the system. Um, and what we're doing here is uh, giving you a summary of the old values and the new values. So I can see here that this workflow directly hasn't changed since November of 2017. Um, we also have a related change log, which is a, a list of any change logs that have been created for any of the related objects. So in this case, it was one search and a couple scripts. Um, and I can see here that uh, there also isn't a change log since 2017 for any of those things. So um, you know, if the workflow isn't working anymore, it's not because of a change to the workflow directly or any of these dependencies listed here. So it must be something like a change to a form or user roles or something along those lines. But I just significantly narrowed down the scope of my search, uh, again, in only a matter of seconds. So that's a couple quick um, examples of how our customers use the ERD, um, investigating or planning for change um, or troubleshooting. And the, the really useful thing is that this visual representation um, you know, is a little bit more user friendly than what you would normally get in any other way. So I hope this was useful. Uh, if you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out.